What's up guys? Mickey Mickey Motions here. And this is the Black Ops commentary. If you're watching on Mickey Motions, you'll probably have noticed that you would have seen the Ken Gamers intro. And that's because this video will be uploaded on Ken Gamers. Now if you're watching on Ken Gamers, hello there. My name is Mickey Motions. And this video is being made in support of the Ken campaign. We are the gamers against cyberbullying. You guys probably don't know who I am, so I guess I'll introduce myself. I'm a 15 year old gamer or commentator. I also make montages and I also compete in racing tournaments and I'm probably more known for my racing videos. Also most importantly I am a machinima sports director and I always post racing videos. That's my kind of thing I do. But I also post uh, Black Ops commentary on my own channel as well. But um, yeah I prefer racing. I've always been a fan of racing since the age of 4. The passion for motorsport just came along when I started watching Formula 1. And it was in those years when Michael Schumacher was doing really well, winning four championships in a row. So when I was like four years old, it was in like the year 2000. And I'm like a super fanboy of Michael Schumacher, and I still am now. I still want Michael Schumacher to win races, that's the only reason why I actually still watch Formula 1. I just have to watch every single race and just see where Michael Schumacher comes along, and then I just hope that he gets podium. The closest he's got to podium this year so far was in Canada when he had that great race. He managed to get up to second, I think, but then he dropped down to fourth, you know, because the other two cars were much faster than him. But that showed that he had much more skill than the other drivers. But enough of me going on about Formula 1, because you probably don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, in this commentary, I'm going to talk about a bit more about myself in detail. There are many questions that people ask me about how I started and how I got on Machine on Sports. Well, first of all, I started off making videos at the age of 12 with Windows Movie Maker, just putting pictures together, adding transitions to make the video look nice. But then later on, a year later, I realized that Windows Movie Maker was quite crap, crap. So I got Sony Vegas, but at the time I was really crap at editing because I was young. I didn't know how to use it. I looked at tutorials, still couldn't uh, use it. So, I just stopped making videos for a while, just got quite annoyed. And then, I started watching Machinima videos. Remember, this was the time when Machinima Respawn hadn't even been made yet. Anyway, I was inspired to make videos, so I created another channel called Young Group. And I made PC gameplays and funny videos. So, I managed to start getting the hang of so in Vegas, I wasn't quite good at editing, what I knew was uh, rendering videos. Then my friend, Shabby Mex, who was also on Young Group, decided to buy a capture card. And with that he made loads of videos, loads of commentaries. Therefore I wanted to do the same thing, so I bought a Dazzle for £45. So I then made my first ever commentary. And I asked loads of loads of people for help with how to improve my commentaries because I was quite nervous the first time I did it which is quite normal so with that advice I made little improvements but then at the time I thought you know commentaries really isn't my thing in the end I decided to stick to just doing gameplay videos and making montages a few months later a few of my friends decided to make uh, a clan a Call of Duty clan and I was the editor so we started making montages and it was quite good at the start we wasn't famous at all, but you know we enjoyed it. We enjoyed doing quick scoping, and we were quite a good team. Nonetheless, on the week I made the channel Scope Gaming, Machinima Sports asked me to become a Machinima Sports director after watching a Formula One video I sent them. And the reason why they asked me to join was because I was quite unique. They didn't have anyone making Formula One videos, not even racing videos at the time. Nobody actually made racing videos at the time. Everybody just stuck to FIFA and basketball, Madden and um, and HL. There must be other games that I haven't mentioned, but that doesn't matter. So from that, I decided that I wanted to do commentaries, and I practiced and practiced and practiced until my commentaries get perfect. And I'm not gonna lie, right now my commentary isn't great. It's not it's not perfect, it's not the best. And I know that because I don't have so as much subscribers as the big guys, you know. But the last few months I think my commentaries have been quite good. They've been the best so far, so 
I really, really think that I deserve getting loads of more subscribers. I think I deserve at least a thousand to two thousand subscribers right now. I just really need that fan base. So, you guys watching on Ken Gamers, please, please subscribe to Mickey Motions and Scope Gaming if you want. So, back to my story. Less than a year later, I made Mickey Motions, which was like a three months ago. And, you know, here I am. So, another question that many guys have requested is what's my opinion to get on Machine of Sports? Well, to get on Machine of Sports, you have to be very unique, like I've mentioned before with Formula One, doing something that people hasn't done or haven't done already. But if you're going to be a Machine of Sports director, you really do have to be into sports. You have to be making vi uh, sports videos regularly on your channel. You can't just be making Call of Duty videos on your own channel and then just making sports videos on Machine of Sports because that shows you you're just you just want the money and you just want the fame. Another question that you guys ask is how do I get a partnership? Well, I got my partnership through Machine of Sports because I'm a Machine of Sports director. If you want to get a partnership through Machine of well, I think you need to get uh, quite a lot of subscribers and you need to have a regular amount of views and the content has to be good as well and you have to upload videos regularly I think. So that's really it about my YouTube story. I hope that you're taking my advice well. So for the end of this commentary, I just want to talk about the London riots quickly. I'm not going to go into too much detail of what happened because I've got like three videos on my channel about the riots. So I think that the riots were quite stupid. Many people were scared to leave their own homes a few days ago. Now I live near Tottenham where the riots first took place and I was absolutely shocked with the amount of people that were there and the fact that there was absolutely no police. The police came so late and when the police did come they barely took any action. Even David Cameron admitted that the tactics were wrong to stop the riots. I think I was very lucky that the riots didn't actually take place in my area because I live like five minutes away from Tottenham and there was another riot in Enfield that's just like what, 20 minutes away from here that's like right next to my school then people were looting in Wood Green so there was nowhere to go nowhere to get out because all the roads were closed and the motorway was way too busy there was too much traffic and then after that the riots started to take place all over the country it was absolute madness so the reason why the riots actually started was because of the death of Mark Duggan who died from being shot in the head by a policeman because he had the gun and the police didn't actually make no statement about Mark Duggan's death, they didn't say why, they didn't even say sorry about your son's death to the parents or anything like that and then the protest took place, it was a peaceful protest but then that's when the riots started all the riots, um, all the rioters came to Tottenham to riot some people were rioting for Mark Duggan and some people were rioting just because they're criminals, they just wanna destroy things, steal stuff. Nonetheless, you can find much more about what happened on my channel. Yeah, like I said, there were three videos that I've done and I did a third part yesterday, so that was like the last one. And let's just hope that there's no more riots which take place anywhere in England. So I hope you've enjoyed my commentary. Please make sure you like this video. And if you're watching on Ken Gamers, please subscribe for more gameplays and commentaries. I post quite often now, I post nearly every day with Black Ops commentaries, Formula 1 2010, Hot Laps, Gran Turismo 5 gameplay. Now, if you guys want to keep in touch with me, follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. If you want to play with me on PS3, my PSN is Mickey Motions. That is Mickey underscore motions, I've spelled out for you M I C K E Y underscore M O T I O N Z. If you want to talk to me or do a dual commentary with me, just talk to me on YouTube and I'll reply. I also want to say thanks to Scope Motors for giving me the gameplay on Theater Mode and thanks to Ken Burton for uploading this video on King Gamers. I hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary. Please subscribe. In the end, Scott Motives gets quite high KD. So I hope you enjoyed this gameplay as well. I'm going to be off now producing some music for my music GCSE. This was Mickey Motions. See you.
Ничего в голову. 